Hey guys, this is Steve at Option Income. Hey, welcome back to the channel where we talk about stocks and earning an option income. Hey, I'm not a financial planner. This isn't financial advice. These are just transactions and research I do on my accounts and you can just learn by watching. Okay guys, in today's video, what I wanted to do, I wanted to go through right now what my best stock is um, that I'm selling puts on. And I've been kind of doing this as a series of videos um, as I do research and I decide um, at the current present moment, you know, what I'm liking the most. So I was looking at um, Nextera Energy Partners, and this is uh, stock symbol NEP. And I'm going to kind of show you my logic real quick and, um, you know, why I'm wanting to sell puts on this. And then um, I'm going to go into the charts and then just show you what I can get um, collecting premium on this. And um, if I get assigned also what the dividend yield is, and it's pretty fantastic. So uh, let's get into this video. Okay, so if you look at the current chart here, I clicked on a three month look. So what you're wanting to do, um, kind of when you're wanting to look at something, if it's making progress, you're wanting to see that it's making um, higher lows, and um, higher highs. So if you look at this over the last three months, you know, it had fallen um, to a significant low and then it's starting to make these higher lows here and then right here and then a higher high. So I like the chart over the last three months. And if I look at the one year chart, you can see how this, you know, this thing was up around, you know, 63 here back in June of 2023 and then it took a dive here and it's been just kind of consolidating but it's it's actually uh, moving sideways to up which I like when I'm selling puts um, so I'm also going to show you the uh, chart uh, from Finviz and then I'm going to go into what I can collect on premiums and then there was a really good article um, a Zach's research article that I'll also show you so Let's go ahead and just jump into the Finviz chart. You can see how this thing on a, this is a weekly chart and how the history of this, um, things that occurred, how it dropped here, bottomed out, and now it's starting to consolidate. So if I look here at the dividend yield currently, this is over 11%. It's 11.14%. Uh, some of the things I, I like, it's it's got about 1.21 billion in sales. Um, 284 million in income and about three billion dollar market cap. The PE on it is only 10. The peg ratio, which is the price to earnings to growth, so it takes growth in consideration. This, I mean, if it's you know below a two, a peg ratio is usually pretty good. One is outstanding, and this thing is actually at a 0.55. So this is, a, you know, considering their growth, it's showing the next five year growth here, about 18%. Profit margins are at 23.5%. And you can look at even the price to book ratio. Now again, book, I've talked about this before, but it's kind of like if everything was liquidated off, a one would be, you know, what the company would be worth completely liquidated. Um, so this thing's actually trading uh, right now at a price below the book value at 0.81. So the metrics look good to me. Um, you know, they have, you know, good cash flow, nice dividend right now. And you can see the 20-day uh, moving average. It's above that now. It's above the 50. And the SMA 200, it just needs to get above that. And it'll be bullish. But, um, you know, currently, that's why I'd want to sell puts on it. Um, once it gets above the 200, I think it'll it will start moving upward. Um, but right now, since it's below the 200, I'd rather just sell puts to try to get this even cheaper. And the cheaper I can get it, this dividend yield will go up. So if I can get it at a lower price than it is right now, technically the dividend yield that I'll be getting on it locked in at that price will be even higher. Now, if I go in real quick, and show you this article it's saying is trending stock next energy partners a buy now 
Okay, so in this article, it just says the size of the recent change in the uh, consensus estimate, along with three other factors related to earnings estimates, has resulted in a Zach's rank number two buy for Nextera Energy Partners. Okay, and on valuation, down here at the bottom, it says Nextera Energy Partners is graded an A on this front indicating that it is trading at a discount to its peers. Okay, so if I click on Trade NEP Options, I'm going to go out um, on this one. I'll go out to May 31st, so 26 days I'm going to go out. And then up here uh, to Sell a Put, I'm going to click Sell a Put. So I make sure these two tabs are clicked on. And then what I'm going to do is just kind of go down here and I'm going to look at, you know, how much I would like to receive. Now, what I'm going to do, I want to get, um, you know, as much premium as I possibly can. But I also want to, you know, play it fairly safe to where I think this could go. Now, I think this could go below 28. Um, my break even buying, selling this put, if I get assigned to 28, I'm going to basically get $35 for every 2800 in collateral. So that would make my break even $27.57. Um, so, you know, this would be basically collecting, you know, over a percent, uh, you know, about a percent and a half actually um, every month is what I would be collecting on this. So it's almost like you're creating your own dividend. And again, if I get assigned this stock, you know, I'm getting assigned at this lower amount were pretty much, you know, my dividend is going to be right around 12%. So I do like that also. So I kind of feel like I win both ways. I can kind of create my own dividend by selling the put. And remember, in my Fidelity account, I collect uh, roughly 5% um, selling puts because the collateral that's held aside when I'm selling puts so at $28 strike, that'd be $2,800 in collateral. Every contract that's held aside, I'm still collecting 5% in the Fidelity account because it's considered in the cash account still, even though it's been set aside as collateral. So it's kind of a, a double dip. I get the, um, I still get to collect my 5%. And on top of that, I'm going to get um, this nice premium every month. And if I get assigned, um, NEP, basically, I'm going to be collecting about a 12% uh, dividend yield. So, uh, you know, kind of, I, I feel like it's almost a win-win um, either way. So that's why I'm, you know, chosen this one to um, start selling puts on in the account. So anyway, guys, um, just wanted to show you what I'm up to, what I'm doing. Uh, this one I'm going to be focused on uh, maybe, you know, up to 10 contracts on this one I'll be selling. So that would be you know, about 350 a month on NEP, and that would be about uh, 28,000 set aside in collateral. So anyway, guys, if you like this video, hit the like button. Um, make sure to subscribe to the channel and make sure to watch all of our videos.